Hello, I'm Rosie Moorhead and this is your Daily Barometer News Blast. The seats were full at the LaSalle Stewart Center Auditorium as U.S. State Senator Ron Wyden held one of many town hall meetings. Senator Wyden kept his opening speech brief in order to answer his many questions regarding issues of Affordable Care Act, racial issues, and the governmental attack on science and technology. The Etihad Cultural Center held their annual talent show last Friday evening. About 300 attendees filled the MU Ballroom to spectate students from diverse backgrounds, showcase their talents, and compete. The lineup featured acts such as traditional dances, guitar and piano performances, and stand-up comedy. It was a successful event as the ECC met their goals of celebrating student talent and sharing cultures. And the 14-game losing streak is broken. The Oregon State's men's basketball team finally found their first conference win Sunday night against the Utah Utes. OSU was down 28-24 after the first half, but were able to come back and ultimately take home the victory in the last 16 seconds of the game. The final score is 68-67. The winning basket was from sophomore guard Stephen Thompson Jr., who hit his career high of 31 points. His previous career high of 30 points was earned against Utah as well earlier in the season. The team will go on the road to Stanford and Berkeley and then will be back for their final home game against Oregon. For complete stories from today's News Blast, visit our website orangemedianetwork.com, follow us on social media, and make sure to pick up this week's issue of the Barometer on newsstands around campus. From all of us here at Orange Media Network, I'm Rosie Moorhead. Thank you for watching.